Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a tutorial using all of the Rihanna Fenty Beauty products. I'm sorry that this tutorial is coming so late for you guys. I'm sure you've already seen tutorials and reviews like 10,000 of them, but I did order from Sephora and it did take a little bit longer than I expected. But I'm so excited for you to see this tutorial. I'm in love with this makeup look right now. I will say I kind of cheated with my thumbnail love bugs because I did this exact look the other day, but I didn't have any of my Fenty Beauty products because I did order from Sephora so it did take a little while longer to come in but I was gonna do the same look today and go somewhere and then right when I was done with my eyeshadow my Sephora box came in and I saw all my Fenty Beauty products and I was like hold on I need to film ASAP because I was already late so I was like I'm just gonna do the same look but with different products and I didn't want to take another picture today because I've been filming for hours and I have another video to film after this so I just used those pictures for my thumbnail but it's basically the same exact look just different products instead of a matte liquid lip which was the Ofra Bel Air liquid lip I did the lip gloss from Fenty Beauty which is I'm just gonna tell you right now it's my favorite product ever on this earth and you know I love lip glosses so it's definitely hit number one in my book but anyways I just wanted to disclaim that I'm sorry I kind of cheated with the thumbnail but you'll see in this tutorial I did use all my Fenty products now that that disclaimer is out of the way let's get to the good news okay I am finally announcing my giveaway Woo okay sorry I'm excited okay so I have gathered up enough products for three winners oh my god finally because i hate only picking one winner and then everybody's sad so i waited until i bought enough makeup so that i could have three winners because i love you guys so much i've been talking about this since forever now already so i'm sure you already know some of the stuff that's included but i am gonna post a picture of each giveaway as i go through them somewhere around here so that you can really look and see all the goodies that I got but I'm quickly just gonna show you some of the stuff so let's get into it so for the first giveaway or for the first winner of the giveaway they will receive a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette I don't even want to take it out of its packaging honestly but yes you will receive the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette then you will also receive my favorite beauty blender this is from Flower Beauty I absolutely love this I use this in all of my tutorials so I had to include this for you then you will also receive a Beauty Bakery Highlight, the Morphe 9BZ, which this is what it looks like. Yes, you will receive that. Then you will also receive a Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner and Liquid Lip. Then you will also receive five lip glosses from Anastasia. So that's for giveaway number one. Now for giveaway number two. Giveaway number two will receive the Yes Please Eyeshadow Palette from ColourPop, which is actually what I used to create this look. Let me know if you want a tutorial of just this eyeshadow, because while I was doing this tutorial, I definitely wanted to keep it more of the Fenty Beauty, so I didn't include eyeshadow. I simply kept it of the collection. Then they will receive the Benefit Brow Pencil. And then of course I bought another one for this giveaway, the Beauty Sponge from Flower Beauty. Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in the shade Grace. Four NYX Liquid Lips and then two Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lips. Giveaway number three will receive the Fenty Beauty Sponge. Also, of course, I gave everybody a Wet n Wild Flat Eyeshadow Brush. Of course, my NYX Dewy Spray, duh. The NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. The ColourPop Yes Please Palette. Three shades of Morphe concealer, only because I don't know who the winner is going to be and I don't know their skin tone, so I'll just give you all three. The Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight, my favorite. And that's it, love bugs. Those are the three giveaways. I hope and pray that you love everything that I purchased for you guys, and I wish you good luck. I can't wait to see the winners. I'm, I'm so excited to just give these away to you guys. This is my first YouTube giveaway, and it will end October 3rd. October 3rd, have your notifications on, and these are the rules to win. So, you have to follow me on Instagram and be subscribed to my YouTube channel. That's it. Now, if you want a higher chance to win, I am going to be looking for love bugs who are very active on my YouTube channel, who are watching my videos, showing me love, stuff like that. Also on my Instagram, showing me love. I wish I could honestly give each and every one of you a giveaway, but right now I'm working my way and I have three so far, so I'm really excited for you guys. So 
Now that I've babbled away and I've said everything that I need to say, I wish you good luck and I can't wait to see the winners. I can't wait to announce the winners. Again, it's October 3rd. And now let me shut up and let's get into this Fenty tutorial. Okay, so from the collection, I bought the primer and the foundation. And then in the foundation, I got into 90. Now, the foundation does oxidize, so I'm kind of scared to try it. But it does say it's olive undertone, so that is all me. So I'm going to try it anyways. And then I also got the beauty spot sponge, the highlights, and the lip gloss. Now in the highlight, I didn't get Trophy Wife. I got Mean Money and Hustla Baby just because this was the prettiest one I saw that I thought would match my skin tone. So let's just get started guys. So I am going to pull my hair back because when I do foundations, it tends to get in my hair because I have such a small space right here. So I'm just going to pull my hair back really quick. So sorry if I look completely crazy, please ignore it. Of course, I'm going to start off with the primer. I'm super excited to try this out. Oh my gosh, this packaging is gorgeous. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I love this kind of frosted bottle right here. And I like that noise. <laughs> super, super cute. I love this. And so now... Ooh, and the cream kind of matches the color of the packaging. Do you see that? Ooh, this feels nice. Mmm. And it kind of smells good, too. Okay, so I will say that it's kind of on the thicker side. Not too thick, like some primers. But just, like, right in between. Ooh, this feels so nice. It dries down super fast, too. Put some on my neck. then put just a little bit on my forehead. Okay, so we'll see how that works with the foundation. Now moving on to the foundation. Has the same kind of frosted packaging except it has a white top. And this is what the sponge looks like wet. And I will say this is kind of small. Like it's a little bit smaller than the beauty blender I would say. Yeah, definitely. But I love that it is cut right here, kind of sharp. I like that a lot. I like that it's kind of flat instead of pointed, but we will see. So I'm putting on 290. And I hope this matches me, guys. I actually went to Sephora the other day and bought this foundation, so I kind of am cheating a little bit. Um, I bought it in 210 just because I was scared. Like, looking at all the foundations, 290 looked a little bit dark. But I bought it in 210, and 210 was at first really light but like I said it oxidizes so it kind of matched my skin tone after it oxidized it looked a lot better but I still wanted to try this one just to see if this does match me because like I said it has olive undertones so let's just get started Ooh, okay this is already a really nice shade I can tell mmm that is blending in like a dream like I said, I was using the 210, so I kind of already know how this is going to look. And let me tell you, the finish is beautiful. Oh, but this color is looking really nice on me. So far, I like it. Let me put a little bit more for my forehead. The sponge so far is working nice. It's just kind of freaking me out how small it is. I mean, it's not like tiny, tiny, but it's pretty small. Which, I mean, is good for my forehead area because I don't have a lot of space right here. So hopefully this can get right in there. Oh yes. It can get right in there. Let me try this side. Oh yeah, I can already tell I'm going to love this side right here, the more flat side. That is getting right in there and that's what I need. Okay, so first of all, the foundation, 1010. The primer looks amazing underneath this. I'll see like the wear time of that later, but so far I love the primer. It felt very hydrating. Um, the sponge, I would definitely give like a 9 out of 10, only because it is smaller. So if you do have, let's say, like a bigger forehead or a wider face, this might not be the best for you. Like you don't absolutely need it because it is a lot smaller than the Beauty Blender. But since I have a really small forehead and like a small space right here, it did help me a lot. But it's, I don't feel like it's a, oh my god, you need this sponge. Now for a concealer, I am going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Like I said, I didn't buy the concealers from the line simply because I didn't feel like I would ever use them. 
I'm not really into cream sticks, cream contour, anything like that. So it just didn't call out my name. So I'm going to use the flat side for my concealer and see how it is. Ooh, that is getting underneath my eyes so perfect. This flat side has really, like, won me over when it comes to this. Ooh, and it is sharpening out my eyeshadow so good. It's this flat side right here that's just, like, winning me over. I'm so sorry that I'm so late with this review or tutorial. Guys, I'm sure you've already seen like 10,000 reviews and tutorials on this collection. But I did order mine from Sephora instead of going to Sephora and getting it. I don't know why I did that. But I did and then it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take to get here. And that's why this tutorial is so late. But I really wanted this to just focus on the Fenty Beauty collection. Because I absolutely love Rihanna. But like I said earlier, if you do want a tutorial with this like yellow pink look, let me know. Okay, and now to set my face, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Translucent Powder with a Morphe M.O. brush. And this brush is from the Britney Bear collection. Just set these under eyes. Now I'm going to use my certified brush and just dust all that powder off. And don't bake. I simply just set my eyes with it and take it right off. Now I'm going to go in with my Ciate London bronzer. Bronze up my face a little bit. Then go across my hairline and then a little on my forehead. My baby hairs always go crazy whenever I do this. Put a little down here on my neck just to make sure everything matches. Now for blush, I'll be picking up the Bomb Cosmetics Frat Boy. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty and I'm going to pick that up on a Time Los Angeles 101 brush. And I'm going to only pick up a little bit and then tap off the excess. Now I can move back to my eyes and quickly do my under eyes. For mascara, I'm going to pick up the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Let me just say this foundation looks beautiful. I love this color. I love everything about it. It's the perfect soft matte foundation. Like, it's not super matte. It's perfect for me. I, I love it. But I mean, it's Rihanna. Of course it's perfect. Everything she does is perfect. And for lashes, I'll be using the Black Magic Lashes and Luminera. Now that I have my lashes on, I'm going to go in with my NYX Dewy Spray, of course. I'm down to my small bottle. i got to go buy another one. Just to get some dewiness back into my skin. Even though the foundation isn't that matte, I mean, it's just like a habit for me. I have to spray my NYX Dewy Spray. And now we can go in with the highlight. Of course, this packaging is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. This scares me because it's like white and I feel like I'm going to get it dirty. But I don't want to get it dirty because it's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you see this? Do you see how pretty this is? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I want to try both. I want to mix both. So I'm going to pick up my Morphe M501 brush and I'm going to start off with this lighter pink highlight. And this one is Mean Money. And I want to mix them both and let's see what this one looks like. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so I can already tell this one is definitely not one of those, like, extra ass highlights. This is definitely more of, like, a subtle highlight. But I'm building it up, and it definitely looks like it can be one of those beaming highlights. I kind of like this subtle highlight. What the, what the heck? Because I never really like subtle highlights, but I'm liking this one. So you could definitely build up this highlight. But if you do love a subtle highlight, this is for you. Like, I can't think of a more perfect highlight than this. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Hustla Baby, which is this beautiful gold one. And let's see what that looks like. 
on top of oh crap yes oh my gosh there she is wow wow I know I'm mixing these two in together but you the combination the combination is beautiful oh my god yes 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 Oh my gosh, these two together, oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, love it, makes me want to sing a song. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see that the way I'm seeing it, but it is gorgeous. Put a little on my nose. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, stop. Okay. 20 and 20. Like, it's not even 10 and 10 anymore. This is 20 and 20. Now, I feel like I need all of them. Why did I not buy all of them? I'm gonna go shop on Sephora right now. I don't care. Bills, who are they? I don't know them. So, I'm just gonna buy all of them. I love this. If you are into a subtle highlight, if you're into a beaming highlight, this is for you. This is for you. Watching this right now. It's for you. Now, moving on to lips. I was so excited that she came out with a lip gloss because if you've been watching me for a long time, you know I love me some lip gloss. I love lip gloss. If I could not wear any product other than a lip gloss, then I would be perfectly fine. Oh my god, this packaging is gorgeous. <gasps> yes. Yes. Do you see that? Yes. Like, I love this. This is going on my vanity to showcase forever. Okay, we got a big brush right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this smells so good. This makes me want to eat it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, yes, I do. Oh my gosh, I just want to kiss myself. Hello. There she is. I love it. This is also a 20 and 20. It smells delicious. It looks amazing. My lips look so good. I just want to make out with myself right now. So I might do that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I love this. This is a 20 and 20. Honestly, I loved everything that I got. I feel like I want to go out and buy more now. Just to see all the other products, like, I'm really, really excited. I, I just want to go and buy more, especially more of the highlighters. I love this. Oh, my God. The foundation looks beautiful. Hold on. Let me put on the setting spray before I go crazy. I'm going to use the Morphe uh, Prep and Set. I'm a new person. I'm a new person. I'm a whole new person right now. I'm, I like, I can't even, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I'm, I feel reborn. I feel, like, rejuvenated. I feel like all of my sins have gone away. I feel like my past is erased. I'm a whole new person. That's what I feel like right now. And alright, love bugs, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to enter in my giveaway. Do not forget, guys, because there will be three winners. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your constant support, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!